Good morning, second grade. Ms. Vogelman here today for your reading lesson. Let me share the screen. All right, so we are again reviewing text features today. Our learning target today is I can identify and use text features in a nonfiction story to help me understand it easier or better. Yesterday, we learned about subheadings, indexes, and bold words. Today, we are going to look at the last three text features we will study. The first one is the glossary is in the back of the book. It has a list of bold, important words and tell you, tell you what they mean. All right, so in the glossary, um, the words are listed alphabetically. That way you can easily find them. The words that you'll find in the glossary are the ones that are bold printed throughout the story. They are the most important words, the ones that the author feels you need to understand in order to fully understand the story. Photographs are taken with a camera and can help you see real objects up close. This can help you learn more about the topic. So a photograph is a real picture, one that will show you exactly what the story is talking about. It is helpful to the reader because if the reader has not seen what the author is writing about before, it will give them a better understanding of the story. The table of contents is found in the front of the book. It tells you the name of the chapter and what page you can find it on. So the table of contents is very important to the reader. We've discussed this many times about how if the reader does not need to read the whole story, then they can go to the table of contents, find exactly what they need information on, go to that exact page and be able to find the information faster. There's a Kahoot challenge in um, show before you. Make sure you um, take a picture of the last screen when you're done and send it to me in Shobi. Have a great day.